Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the vlogs or welcome if you're new here. Thanks for stopping by. We are starting another week in my life vlog. I literally just finished editing and ex well, it's exporting right now, but last week's vlog so I can get that up for you guys ASAP. And then I also just finished filming a little Black Friday update for Lululemon because they're doing something new this year where if you have the app and you're a member, you're going to get early access to Black Friday, which is crazy and exciting. But that actually starts this Thursday, so November 16th. So I wanted to film a little update, a very casual video. I'm going to try and keep the edits to that one very minimal and get that up for you guys so you have like little updates and info about what to expect for Black Friday so be sure to go watch that one if this vlog is still relevant by then hopefully <laughs> but they'll have like a Black Friday Cyber Monday type of event slash sale so go watch that for all of the info updates everything that I know sharing the info with you guys so just finished doing that Hudson is napping right now so that is great just trying to get some work done also I'm loving the tree in the background as like a little I don't know it looks cute it's very vibey okay but the other thing I'm doing right now is shopping for a new iMac because this one here is the 2017 Intel 21 and a half inch iMac and while she served me very well the past seven years it is starting to crap out and be very slow very glitchy it does not like running iMovie with any other app open so I have to have them all closed and even now it is exporting, it just finished exporting, but I feel like it's starting to crap out and slow down my workflow. And I do want to get Final Cut Pro in the new year to kind of up my video editing. So I feel like this one probably can't handle Final Cut Pro in its newest version. So I'm currently looking at the new iMac M3, probably this one with like the most upgraded and I'll probably upgrade the memory so that it's a little bit smoother for editing videos. Now I know that this computer is not the most technical video editing computer. I'd probably go for a Mac Studio with a Mac Studio display if I wanted something super fancy, but I realistically only edit vlogs and my main videos, which are not very fancy. I think Final Cut Pro, like upgrading to that with a new Mac will be more than plenty. I don't think I ever see myself doing professional videography and things like that. Like I'd love to learn, but I just, I don't know. I don't have the passion for the editing part. So I probably don't need a Mac Studio. I think that might be a little bit overkill. A lot of people or like a lot of, I don't know, youtuber like techie review things say get the macbook pro m3 and then a studio display but i again i just feel like that's kind of overkill like i don't want to edit on the laptop i would like a desktop at this point because we're not really traveling that much so my macbook air is fine for like little edits and stuff it's still the m1 chip but i don't know i feel like this desktop is starting to pack her in so because it's like the end of the year and I kind of want to reduce as much taxes self-employed um, as possible like to invest kind of in some equipment before the year expires to help my taxes this year I know it's like not a full write-off because it's like a capital cost for equipment but still then just in the new year I feel like I can level up my content so I'm trying to decide if that's something I want to go with right now and yeah I don't know if I should do it or not but I feel like the iMac M3 is probably enough to be sufficient with like Final Cut Pro and basic video editing that I do. So that's my dilemma right now. I'm also perusing Christmas shopping, but trying to wait for Black Friday deals, but I kind of like just want to get it done and get that off my plate because as a mom, if you know, the mental load is a lot and I feel like it takes up a lot of space in my brain and definitely is, I don't know, taking a toll on me sometimes. There's just like a lot to think about with a baby and then working and trying to balance it all and juggle it all. So... I don't know, just kind of want to get those things off my mind. But that is the, that is what I'm doing right now. This week, Hudson's already three months old. What? So he has his three month appointment this week and Black Friday starts at Lululemon. It's Red Cup Day at Starbucks. And then of course, Lululemon's new releases as per usual. So should be a good week, but I wanted to bring you guys along for 
the ride. Okay, hello. It is now Monday because I did not vlog anything else last night. Since I did kind of start the vlog later in the day, we didn't really get up to much else. So I wanted to pick it up now because I just finished filming a little TikTok collab thing and I wanted to share it here on YouTube as well in case you guys don't have TikTok. So I just filmed a little thing for Circle because it is now available in Walmart Canada, which is super exciting. I've been wanting to try this product for a long time, but they didn't ship to Canada or it wasn't available in Canada, but now it is. So they sent me a little PR package, including the water bottle. So it's basically a like water bottle that allows you to flavor your water. It's like a little cartridge in here that has flavoring and then you can like turn this dial so it can be like more flavorful. So basically like juice or like just like flavored water to almost plain water. If you turn it, sorry, back that way, it's hard to do with one hand. But honestly, I've really enjoyed it so far. I am trying out the strawberry kiwi flavor in here right now. And they also sent me a few more, so let me show you. Okay, so here's a little PR package that they sent over. So a little tote bag, some stickers, and then this little brochure that is now available in Walmart Canada. So we'll be going to Walmart also later in this vlog because I need to film the second part of that collab, which is going to find it in Walmart but they also sent over a few more flavors. So we have orange tangerine, we have mixed berry, and these are fit sips. And then this is a go sip, which I think has electrolytes in it. And then this is a life sip, which is just like plain flavored water, fruit punch. And then this was the box the water bottle came in. So yeah, that's super cool. I just knocked over all the stickers though, but that is the PR box. So thanks so much to Circle for sending me these free Circle products. I also just received notification that my Lululemon just arrived. So let's go grab that. All right, just finished doing the little unboxing of the package on TikTok, but I can definitely tell that this one came from a store, by the way, it was packaged and like the label and stuff, and that these are not plastic wrapped, but that's okay. I think they are still in good condition. There's been a few like horror stories on Reddit apparently of things coming like used from a store and not in hygienic states. So, I double checked, we're all good here. But the first thing I got, cause of course I'm gonna share this with you guys too, is the Rhino Gray Wonder Trains. I got this in a size four, which is actually a size up from my normal Wonder Trains. I was doing the contour in a size four, but the contour fit is like a size two waist on a four pant. And I'm finding the waist is a little snug right now, but the pant feels fine. I did try a six in the contour fit in store and those ones were too big in like the pant part, but it felt like nice in the waist. So I think a four will fit great. I did buy these for a kind of lookbook video that is going to be coming soon to TikTok and YouTube, but I just thought that these were also like a really nice kind of staple neutral legging and I don't have any gray ones. Oh, that's not good. Do you guys see this? This has been tagged right through the actual pant, which is going to create a hole once I cut it. So I'm not going to cut it. I will probably take these back and exchange them at my local store because that's not good. Cause once I cut it out, it is going to create, oh yeah, it's already snagged in the fabric. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so I guess I can't film that now. Maybe we'll do that today, but I also got the Swiftly Tech in a purple ash. Is this one tagged correctly? Yes. Swiftly Tech in a purple ash, it's the race length, obviously long sleeve. Love the Swiftly Techs. I love purple. Therefore, this had to happen. So this was actually on Markdown last week. So I had to snag that. And that is the only two things that came in this package. I did have another one that came last week. So I'll show you what's in that one. Okay, here is the other package actually from last week, but it didn't make it into last week's vlog. So the first thing is this uh, loungeful hoodie in the color Riverstone. I'm obsessed, you guys. I love the loungeful line, the straight legs, the joggers. The hoodies, so, so good. They are so fluffy and cozy, like cozier than the scubas. And this color is everything. It is the perfect neutral. So I'm obsessed with this. I can't wait to wear it, but it is for a styling video. So I'm trying to keep it clean, of course, because having a baby, nothing stays clean. So I haven't worn that yet. I'm trying to wait until I film that and then I can like wear it without like having to worry about it needing to go in the laundry and all that stuff. And then the other thing I bought, super exciting, is the white Wonder Puff jacket. I tried this on in store and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I ended up ordering it later that day for new release Tuesday, but this is just like the most crisp 
white jacket. Hold on, let me. Okay, here's what it looks like. I got a size four in this. Again, so stunning. This is warmer than my Aritzia Super Puff, so probably gonna be selling that one. And then obviously, this is my new winter jacket. It is going to be hard to keep it clean. So um, that is the one downside, but no regrets. I, I still love this. Like, it just looks so good, especially like with the blue, with the Riverstone, the gray, like this is gonna be the outfit. Sorry, not the purple. This is going to be the outfit kind of inspo lookbook with the color palette but unfortunately i guess i can't really film that until i get these exchanged so that is the other package that i wanted to share with you really quick just picked up some smoothies at Booster Juice because they're having a little birthday celebration thing today. So it was buy one get one free for smoothies. So we decided to go and treat ourselves to a little smoothie. I got a Hawaiian sunset which is raspberry, banana, mango, passion, orange guava, and yogurt I believe. It's actually really good. It tastes like candy. Like Starburst. No. Tropical Skittles. I would describe it as Tropical Skittles. Anyway, it tastes really good. They even got a mango sicle, which is um, pineapples, mangoes, and vanilla frozen yogurt. But they were super busy in there, so of course, for I won't get one free. But we are on our way to Walmart now. Is it being happier back there? Just content. You did not like stopping, but that is what we're doing. All right, we're in the holiday section of Walmart. We actually came here so I can film the rest of my collab, but I just can't find the product in the store. So I don't really know what to do about that. But anyways, looking at the rug paper, I think this one is so pretty. Of course, it's pink. And Damon says no. So I don't think we like need wrapping paper desperately, but we do have some bigger gifts to wrap, I think. So we might need some. But I also liked this set with the red trucks and like I just thought this one was really festive. We are actually looking for some more lights and stuff to put up around the house and kind of just browsing the holiday section. Anyways, we are looking at stocking hangers because usually we just put a thumbtack in our uh, TV stand. But we actually want to upgrade to get like better ones. I love this red truck one. Or we're thinking if there's like this one that already has three that says Joy. So I think that would work for now because I don't know if we're necessarily adding another one anytime soon. Or they have like plain basic ones, two pack for like $6.98. Obviously that's the best for our money, but I don't know. We need something like this, but I also saw this stocking. So perfect, but I already have one and I just got one. Like two years ago, I know Hudson needs one, but I think we're gonna go to Pottery Barn Kids. Since there's one, I was looking at there. Um, so hopefully that works out. Hey guys, um, little update to the vlog. Obviously it is Tuesday the next day, but I went to the store this morning, AKA Lululemon this morning. And I forgot that yesterday was actually a holiday in lieu of Remembrance Day here in Canada. So they didn't actually get any new product in store and their big shipment and drop is coming tonight. So I will have to go back later this week, I guess, and film what's new in store um, because they, it did sound like they were getting a lot of product and a lot of items. So that was kind of a fail trip to Lululemon, but I did end up exchanging those Rhino Gray Wonder Trains. I did get the contour fit, which I don't know if I'm gonna be 100% set on. So I did order the fours like the regular size fours um, online. So I'll do like a comparison since I do have an extended time to return those items. But just finished my live for TikTok, of course, for new releases and I'm updating the Google Doc. Right now, there are so many new things and they just released their Moon Bow collection, which is like, I don't know, it's supposed to be like bright colors, something with the moon phases or something, I don't know. That just released today, so a lot of Faded Zap, Dahlia Mauve, and Dark Lavender, which I love Dark Lavender. It's like one of my favorite colors. So that's exciting. Lots of fun and new things today, but I'm just trying to 
go back over and update everything that I missed because there's so many things honestly that dropped today and yeah I don't know just kind of I want to hopefully film also that styling video that I need to do but we'll see how long this takes me because it's already 109 so I don't know if I have enough time to do that but yeah that is what's happening Hey guys, I'm picking up the vlog for the first time today and it's already like afternoon but this morning was honestly crazy so I was trying to film a holiday lookbook for YouTube and TikTok and I was filming like six looks but I don't know just nothing was going right it's just one of those days where I don't know I just wasn't happy with anything the lighting wasn't working the outfit the camera angle like everything was just like I don't know not the vibe so that was a struggle this morning but I got it done so hopefully it turns out okay but we are at the mall now because I needed to or I need to go pick up something for my mom for Christmas I also stopped at Lululemon to see what's new since I messed up yesterday and forgot that they didn't get new stuff so I went back to see what was new and then ended up getting one thing so that's the update but my dad actually needs us to go pick him up from the car dealership because his car broke down this morning. So we have to go pick him up and then drive to take him home. So that's like an hour away. That was definitely not in our plan this morning. So our day is a little bit crazy and flipped upside down, but we're gonna end up going to do that. I think we have to leave here pretty quick. So I'm gonna pick up that one thing for my mom and then we're headed to pick up my dad and then have a visit with my parents and then drive all the way. Okay, we're in the bay now looking for, I don't know, Christmas decor, Christmas gift ideas. Okay, but as I was saying, today is definitely not going as planned. I was hoping to get that video like just filmed and edited today, especially for TikTok because it is like a holiday lookbook. It's kind of timely, but I don't know. I think I can maybe edit the TikTok in the car, but yeah, just definitely not as expected how the day was gonna go. Um, but that happens. It's okay. We are adapting and making it work. Sorry, I just have a mobile pickup for Gabby. Thanks. Good morning, you guys. It is 5.40 in the morning. I just came back from Starbucks from getting my red cup. I forgot my camera in the house, so I had to just record a little clip on my phone, but it is red cup day at Starbucks. So the last three years, two years, I guess, when I worked at Lululemon, I got one. So this is their holiday cup this year and I also got Damon a caramel brulee latte for when he wakes up because I don't really like the holiday drinks so I just said I'll buy you one and as long as I get the cup that's all I care about. Yeah it is usually marked down Thursday at Lululemon but nothing has happened so far. I'm watching Jess's live on TikTok while I wait um, but so far I haven't really seen anything online. There is supposed to be a big Black Friday early access drop on the app so I will be going live later today um, but usually or I guess on reddit they said that there's supposed to be a small drop this morning of accessories but I haven't been able to really find anything online right now so the other thing that I'm doing is looking to upgrade my Apple products so I don't know I think I might wait on this one but I think I've pretty much decided on this is what I want to upgrade my Mac to. No Final Cut Pro has more like color grading and like text and stuff so I don't have to do it in Canva and I feel like the color grading on 
iMovie is not that great so I just would like to elevate my videos a little bit and I'm just doing like really simple video editing at this point. I don't foresee myself doing you know 8k movies and documentaries and long videos and like just really high stuff and if I did that I'm pretty sure like that could be fine for like a one-off project. Um, so I think I'm going to go with the iMac instead of the Mac Studio thing. But the other thing is that the there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max um, available for pickup today. The one that I wanted to get. So I don't know if I do that and upgrade my 11 over here. And then my 14 Pro Max would be like my second phone for live streams and filming at home and then have the 15 pro max i don't know people are really split on it but i feel like i don't know my last video of getting the iphone 14 was like a really big i don't know video for me so i feel like i don't know i kind of want to make another one and also like test out the phone because obviously i film a lot on it so i feel like that would be helpful to have like i don't know better cameras I'm kind of tempted so we'll see if that comes to fruition today but that is the update and i will catch up with you guys when it's time for black friday okay a bit of an update let me move some stuff around so i can set you down here um so i think black friday has already started at lululemon which is technically early it's been two hours early so if i go into the app right now and search like the we made too much filter by what's new i can see that there are some early access items popping up on the app so i just went live really quick to share that with all of my followers and on here on youtube too i think i posted a short but i will be doing a full like official live when the section opens up but black friday madness is happening it's a big day it's also a beautiful day outside so really grateful for that but i did buy one thing already and it was like an instant purchase for me i could not pass it up the free to be serene bras are going on markdown and being sunsetted aka discontinued so when you see things like black and white in like core items like this then you pretty much know that they are being discontinued so these are my favorite sports bras and i'm really sad that they are being sunsetted today but i had to snag one of course in black to add to my collection since um postpartum i don't really fit my previous ones that I have like I have a whole bunch in various colors to do matching sets and stuff but sadly those are a little bit tight on me right now so I had to size up so I have about four in a size four instead of a size two I guess I can't get any more colors in them but they are my favorite sports bras from Lululemon they are the ones that fit me the best I'm sad to see them go to be honest but we'll see what else we get for the early access I don't know if this is everything right now on the app or if there'll be more once the section opens but it's going to be crazy. Hopefully it's a good sale day though. But if you are shopping Lululemon ever, shop with my link. I'll have it down below in the description in all my videos. It just helps support my channel and helps support me as a little creator here in my small corner of the world. But that is the plan. I need to eat something for lunch really quick before I have to go live again because I think it'll be a longer one. So I am vlogging today. So hello friends. Um, so I have this camera here, but I don't know. This one's just easier to take around and easier to set up on a tripod too. So I like using this sometimes for vlogs when I'm out so I don't have to take this big thing. Okay, so a little update for you guys. Um, that was a very anticlimactic for the Black Friday early access. There's literally only 37 items. So not that exciting, not that many things. It was everything that I like spotted earlier on the app. And I feel like a lot of people were disappointed that it wasn't the full Black Friday drop, but like I said, um, in my lives, if you are there, it is only the early access, it is only the preview, it is not the full Black Friday drop that will probably be happening next week, like obviously Black Friday week. But yeah, so now I'm just kind of hanging out, chilling, and I don't know, maybe we'll go grocery shopping later or maybe tomorrow. I don't know, I'm kind of tired now from doing so much content but that is the update hey guys welcome to the next day it's actually a lot later in the next day but i'm picking up the vlog again for the first time now 
but I just had another Lululemon package come. Actually, this was a reorder of my Wonder Trains in Rhino Gray from earlier in the video. Um, I think it was this one. This In this vlog, this week has been so long, I completely forget, but basically the first pair were damaged and not even like the correct lengths in the leg, but this one is good. So just opened that, just unboxed that on TikTok, and then I also wanted to share with you really quick what I picked up in store yesterday when we went quickly or I guess two days ago oh my gosh see what I mean this week has been already so long I can't even keep track of the days but you guys already know I love the whole tight long sleeves and they just came out with this Henley version I saw this in store it is honestly so cute I just had to pick it up I love the buttons on here I love the whole tight long sleeve so I wanted to try out this new style so that is the other one thing I picked up in store but otherwise the markdowns or I guess not markdowns the markdowns were good of accessories there's a bunch of accessories that happened yesterday for we made too much but the new early access drop thing that they were doing this year that's new was a total flop everyone was so mad about it so yeah that was I don't know nothing fun and exciting to be honest but I'm going to end the vlog here because I think it is long enough so I'm going to start a new one next week since we have a busy weekend with some family visiting I don't think I'm going to vlog though there's just gonna be too much going on anyways but thanks so much for watching you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below on what kind of content you guys want to see coming up for the holidays do we want to see gift guides do we want to see styling i do have a styling video coming but do we want more like holiday outfit ideas do we want i don't know let me know i don't know about vlogmas yet kind of debating if i should do like short vlogs and i'll post them to shorts and then do like longer vlogs because i do like doing like these kind of vlogs more and then just do every few days or so because i don't think i can do every day this year that was crazy last year and with a baby it's just it's too much. Anyways, that's my ramble and rant for the end of this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.